Hey, Hypers, it's Joya, your resident Justice Bay, and Boosie has found himself in the middle of another controversy after being seen at YNW Melly's trial in the double homicide case in Florida. In a video posted to social media, Bootsy would express interest in becoming a defense attorney and offering help in some way while on his way to the courts. In response to this video, one of the fathers of the victims is speaking out against Bootsy for supporting the man who alleged killed his son. Let's take a look at the video from Christopher Thomas Sr., YNW Juvie's father, who is one of the two men that YNW Melly is accused of killing. Boosie down there, support Melly. He, he, he flaws for that. He don't even know that nigga Melly. Man, nigga, why you didn't go, go to Marlo Mike trial? Fuck you this nigga trial. Marlo Mike in that bitch fight for his life, nigga. You got that man son up the road for all doing all that goddamn time. But you ain't nothing for Melly. Nigga, you got your priorities f***ed up. Nigga, go back to your hometowns, scary ass nigga. During the opening arguments on Monday, prosecutor Christine Bradley presented the state's case against the rapper that focused on video, ballistics, and cell phone evidence that she said points to Melly shooting his friends inside of the car and staging a drive-by. However, the defense attorney, David Howard, described the case against Melly as riddled with reasonable doubt and founded with an incompetent, incomplete investigation. Now, this is a death penalty case. And earlier this year, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill into law allowing for the imposition of the death penalty when the jury recommends death by a vote of eight to four. In other words, YNW Melly could get the death penalty as a result of a non-unanimous jury. Yamanika, I'm going to come to you. Why do you think Bootsy is so invested in this case first? And do you think more entertainers and rappers should be more literate of the law? I'm with the father, you know, in terms of he lost his son, you know, and to watch somebody support somebody, as he said, Bootsy doesn't know this dude. He's stepping into a territory that he's not, you know, affiliated with. And you just shouting out somebody over magazines and snacks. Now, while I definitely would also shout out somebody over magazines and snacks, that's my favorite thing, magazines and snacks. So I might be in the court. <laughs> I might be in the courthouse also going, hey, hey, Melly, with my magazine, with my snacks. You know, depending <laughs> on if it's Essence or if it's, it's uh, Jujubees and also. But um, here's the thing about Bootsy. If he is knowledgeable of the law, right, and he does his due diligence to be studied, the personality and the mind in which he thinks would be an asset to the legal community. That is if he can find a way to be unbiased, you understand as well. Um, but I think Bootsy does put a lot of his own personal interests and best interests before any facts or evidence that he has in a lot of situations. So um, I understand Bootsy trying to make money, but I also, my heart goes out to that father who lost his son. And of course he's, uh, of course he's gonna feel that way. He's allowed to. Absolutely. And that was, uh, that is what I was thinking. You know, he lost his son. And if I can remember, all of them were connected. All of them were friendly at one point in time. So this is probably not the best case or wasn't the best case for Boosie to talk about becoming a lawyer. But nevertheless, here we are. Uh, Pierre, what do you think? Do you think Boosie would make a good lawyer? And do you think more rappers and entertainers should uh, engage into uh, the law? I'm just so proud of Bootsy that whatever he says, it becomes news. We're talking about some shit. That, 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 really? We're talking about Bootsy? <laughs> really? That's what, that's what it is, but that's what it is. And now, we're not the only one. I'm talking about everyone else is talking about Bootsy. Mm -hmm. If Bootsy said he wanted to be an astronaut tomorrow, we'd be like, yo, what's up? Bootsy about to be an astronaut. You can't go no training and none of that. Guy. <laughs> whatever Bootsy want to talk about, it becomes newsworthy. That's the beauty of Bootsy. So, what are you talking about with this situation? It makes no difference. The heart and soul is that, that boy's father. That boy's father lost, a, you know, he lost his son. That's the real. But Bootsy just said, who's, he's cool. And he's on my, he bought me snacks and shit. But really? We really should be emphasizing on that man who lost his son. His son is dead. What Bootsy says, who's innocent, who's guilty, who's not, should make no difference. But I love it, man. Bootsy says he wants a cheeseburger tomorrow. We're going to be talking about why Bootsy eat them cheeseburgers. 
What the? <laughs> man? So, no. So, I don't, don't ask me that question. Should he be an attorney? Like, what? 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 Right. <laughs> what are we talking about? What are we talking about? This nigga's a rapper, okay? A rapper who talks, sometimes he talks correctly or whatever. Sometimes he's not. He's whatever. He's an entertainer. This is what he does. He's an entertainer online. Great. That's all I'm, I'm going to put for him as far as that's concerned. So, no. Right. I'm more I concerned mean, about that man who lost his son and shit. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely um, sympathizing and our hearts and prayers go out to Christopher Sr. who lost his son. But I think one thing to note with Boosie, he's not the first rapper to have wanted to learn more about the law after his friends have been affected or after he himself have been affected. Um, I think of 50 Cent's uh, girlfriend, Cuban Link, like now she's into the law. And we can't forget about Kim Kardashian and how everybody was kind of rushing to her to help them and she's not even a lawyer yet so no. whether boosie said it i or promise whether... okay, yeah, okay. i promise you i promise you little boosie is not going to law school watch me today a year from now little boosie has not been in law school or studied the law right He'll talk about right. what he wants to but no no he's not serious about going to law school he might. You never know. Boosie might. Okay. You know, okay. A year from, I hope you're on the show a year from now. Okay. I put $20 <laughs> on it. He ain't. I agree with uh, Pierre. He He's not going to go to law school. But also, what, I, what I'll say he is might. this. He should. You know, if you're going to open your mouth and do things like this, you should be knowledgeable of the things that you speak about. With the tenacity he has, and as Pierre said, somebody who has made himself this polarizing character out of almost nothing other than internet trolling and cyberbullying. Um, if he can do that with the internet, imagine if he is armed with knowledge, what he could do in the court system. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Exactly. If he really goes to school for it, why well, hats off to little boots? If he really goes to school for it and wants to help these kids, these cats, these people but just to jump on your verbal and have people jump on he's very he, he lives a, a life that can be very dangerous if he says a certain thing people can go certain ways with him and the other way you got to be careful what you say he has a lot of power in his talk as as good example he just said what he said and we're covering it. And a lot of people are covering what he said so whenever he speaks people listen but hopefully it's correct when he speaks 